Congratulations. It is time to get started chatting with tons of buyers and sellers. So the first thing we need to do is go to our app store. I'm in the Apple app store. If you're on Android, you do the exact same thing. You'll go search for Facebook Business Suite, and then you'll want to download it. You can see I already have it, and it needs an update. But for this video, I'm just going to close it out, and I'm going to go open it up. So in this video, I'm giving you an overview of Messenger and how to navigate it. So today, we'll be using this account here. So this is how you manage your Facebook business page. You can also manage your Instagram from here. You can see that you can do quite a bit. Uh, but what we're concerned about is managing messages. So down here at the bottom, we'll click on the bubble and you can see that we have conversations going on. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go through and clean out anyone that has unsubscribed. So we'll go down through here and we'll look. Look for unsubscribe. Usually you'll see a few. Okay, so this one says no, stop all messages, please. So all you have to do is just swipe, swipe to the left, and click the checkbox, and that'll make it go away. The next thing you'll want to know how to do is mark, mark a person for follow-up. So we'll go up here and look at one of these that have a star. Sure, my lease is up next June. We'll go ahead and ask your budget and what areas are you interested in okay so if we if we look at that one we can slide to the left and you'll see a star we selected the star so that it adds it to that filter uh, so that it sticks out like a sore thumb. We can also add more details. So this one says lease leases up next June. So we'll just click on her name again and we'll go down here and add label. Lease is up June 2022. We'll just add it. So you can see that it added a label. So we'll scroll down through here. And we'll just do a little cleanup. We'll open this one up. Just looking to rent, but rent to own. Just a cozy place. Cool. How much can you afford? per month. You can see I got tons of notifications, but I think it's better to just kind of show you how to how to follow up. So like this one, we just come back in here and it's like good morning. Coffee. Are you looking for an investment property? A home to live, live in or just putting some feelers out? And then we'll add Bill because that's who we're talking about. So I'm going to select all and copy. Because you're going to want to do this to several and you're not going to want to type that over and over again. So first we're going to send it. But then also we can click this plus button and get a saved replies. And we're going to add a saved reply. Saved replies. And then up here at the top we'll click that button. And we'll say investment 
primary or fillers. Save. All right, so now we have that one saved and it'll be easy for us to go back in and send that to other people. So we'll go right here to Robin, click in here, click the plus button, save replies, and then we'll just scroll up and there you go. Boom, just click it, send it, easy. Easy peasy. So we've reviewed how to create a quick reply, how to filter or how to add a favorite. Next thing, we'll filter. We'll click up there and we can filter only messenger messages. We can also search messages. So you can see that label that I added, Lisa's up in June 2022. If you had uh, tags like pre-approved or specific neighborhoods or specific budgets, you'll just be able to come in here and just click them and see them all at once so you can easily navigate back to follow up with them. So I'm just gonna go down through here and I'm gonna send a few more quick replies, so, or saved replies, just to show you how easy this is. And there you go. I like to do 10 at a time and then give it a break and then do 10 more. Uh, you don't want to just continue to do it over and over and over. Facebook's going to think you're a robot and they're going to block you. So I believe I'm at like six or so. You could also send a voice message and you just do that by holding down the record button, speak your message and let go and it will send it on over. I'm going to keep going with the saved replies. There you go, see look, they came back home to live. Cool. Do you need to sell before you can purchase? You can see it's an ongoing conversation. So I sent them that message. They came back at me. They're busy doing something else. When they come back with their phone, they'll send me my message and we'll just keep going back and forth. This one right here is an example of they deleted the conversation. So there's nothing to reply to. So you can click the three dots up here and then just click move to done. You just want to keep your inbox clean. If you see anything like this that says guest, that means that they opted in to hide their identity. So technically you can't reply back to them unless they're still there. If they leave, they'll never see this message. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that one to done as well. Go down through here and do a couple more and see if they come back. You can see that this is just a repet repetition game and that's what follow-up is. The stats say for a phone call, it's like five to seven touches. Sometimes with Facebook, it may be two, three, four, sometimes eight. You just wanna keep adding value. You can see over here the right, see where it has the little checkbox? That means that they have not read it yet. So you could wait or you could just go ahead and push another message through. I like to go ahead and push another message through. That way it looks like I'm proactively following up with them. People like that. There you go. So I hope this tutorial was helpful in your follow-up journeys. If you have any questions, reach out and let me know, and I'll bridge the gap for you. Have a great day.